Hello and welcome back to another episode of DCS in 10 minutes or less with the Mirage 2000. This is episode 5, which is part 2 of the two part episode going over landing. In this video, we're going to go over how to make a waypoint for landing and then conducting a low visibility landing. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part 2 of the landing episode for the Mirage series. Uh, so we got Nellis off to our right over here, but we don't have a waypoint for Nellis set up. So. The situation is that the mission editor forgot to put down a waypoint for the airfield you're going to land at or say there's an airfield you want to land at that's not marked in your INS panel. So that's what we're going to learn how to do on this episode. So we're going to click F10. We're going to go to Nellis. We're going to grab a few things here. We're going to grab the elevation, which is 1,841 feet, not meters, so feet. Uh, we're going to grab the coordinates, so it's going to be north and a west. Just know if you're playing on Caucus, for example, it will be in the east. Uh, attack in is going to be 12 x-ray. We're landing at runway 21, so we need an ILS of 109.10. We're also going to be landing north of runway 21, so we're going to need a runway heading. So we're going to grab our ruler here. I like to use a white line, so I'm going to right click. It says drag it down. Uh, that looks right, so 220 degrees. All right, we have that information. Now let's actually enter it. So we're going to go to our INS panel here. Pause track IR. So we don't have a waypoint to use, so we're going to make a waypoint to. 02, and then we're going to prep it. Now we have a clean slate. So LG is going to be our latitude and longitude, so let's enter that. So north side, so north and south, and then east and west. So north, we know it's north, so it's going to be 3, 6, 1, 3, 5, 3, 9. 3, 9 is not going to pop up, but when you hit enter, it's going to pop up right there. Alright, so now we're going to do our east and west. So let's do east, and it's going to be 115026288. Alright, hold on. That's not right, because we know it's west. So if you mess up, all you have to do is click this button right here, and it clears out, and you should start over again. So it's going to be west 115026288. Enter. All right, now we're going to go to our altitude. Left side is feet, right side is meters. So we know we have the feet. So it's going to be 1841841. Enter is automatically adjust for uh, the meters. RHDS, so our runway heading and glide slope. Left side is uh, runway heading, right side is glide slope. So let's enter that 220. Uh, so if you actually know the fine, like, Define decimal of the number, so Nellis, for example, is going to be 220.1. You would enter that, but it's not really going to make a difference. So, just for practical sake, since we know it's going to be 220 off the ruler, just hit zero again and enter it. So, like, say it's going to be 220.7, so just round up and go 221. All right, so glide slope is always going to be 030. All right, that's all set up. Our VOR is going to be 109.10. And our tack hand was 12 x-ray. That's all set up and ready to go. All right, so waypoint two is set, but we're gonna go to waypoint one. You can either do it down here, enter zero one, or you can just use the plus or minus. So waypoint one is literally a mile in front of us. Let's contact Nellis real quick. In field, one, one, inbound. All right, let's hit waypoint two. Waypoint two selected 15 miles out, approach mode. Now let's turn right. Put my flight path marker inside that box. All right, you guys saw me land last episode, so I'm not really going to do it uh, this part. So the next portion is going to be landing in really bad conditions using uh, the INS and navigation assistance. See you then. All right, so this is going to be the low visibility portion of the video. As you can see, Nellis is somewhere over here covered by a cloud layer. Uh, everything is set up in the computer, uh, bore, attack uh, hand, everything's just good to go. Uh, yeah, it was full send. So waypoint one is going to be our first point, that's going to be our turnaround or turning point to uh, uh, final. Turning down my HUD. Alright, waypoint two selected, approach mode on. Let's contact Nellis as well. ATC Nellis. Infield, one, one, inbound. Make sure everything's good here. And we 
crazy to see. Many gear down, many gear lights on. All right, so synthetic runway just populated. So even though we can't see Nellis or Nellis's uh, runway, we know where it's at. And we got our uh, guidance square right there. Don't know the proper term. I'll put it up here in a second. So all you have to do is put your flight path marker in it, and it'll guide you. Or you can just do autopilot and put a approach mode on, and it'll fly you there. And all you have to do is control the throttle. All right, so I'm going to fast forward it from here, and then uh, when we get closer, I'm going to resume the video. Take it at roughly 80 feet, just because you can't even see the ground. All right, we're on the ground. It's pretty windy too. All right, guys. So yeah, that's. Pretty much this whole video. Alright, see you on the next one.